Hi, it's Lori at Sew Right, and I wanted to show you a really fun quilt using a book called One Block Wonders with panel quilts. And the exciting and the great thing about it is it doesn't take much of a different varieties of fabrics. You're just using this one panel plus an additional six more. And then with the cutting process and the design process, each quilt is going to be unique in and of its own with really impactful and dramatic results just by the placement of the other pieces that you create from the other panels. So in addition to this type of panel, we have several other types at the store. For example, we've got like a geisha. What's nice is say that you don't want to create that quilt with this particular geisha panel, there are other groups in the family large, bold, varied colored prints would work well to make those shapes that you need to surround her. Once you cut out your panel pieces, the fun part then is what do you do with them? You're going to create many, many hexagonal shapes. So it's all about your design placement, light and dark and contrast. Um, you don't have to use all of the pieces you cut. You can edit them. You can also add or incorporate other pieces based on the family of fabrics you choose. Like I chose something else from that same group. I decided also I wanted to extend it, so I added more of a border unit, just so that my eye is a place to rest once I completed all of the hexagonal kaleidoscopic units. In addition to using panels, you could use any bold print with contrast, such as this K-Facet bold and this one. Color-wise, you've got a lot of interest here, so it'll be fun and it'll be quite an adventure as to how, once you cut the strips out and create the triangles, what types of kaleidoscopes will happen. Some of the tools you might need would be a magic mirror, and that will help you edit your pieces. It gives you an idea, once you open up the mirror and you cut your strip, what kind of triangular shapes you're gonna create. You will also have the book, which is part of the class. You will also need flathead pins, which are great when you're cutting the strips. You can keep the pins perfectly aligned in your fabric to cut. Finally, you're gonna need a ruler with a 60 degree angle. And I love this ruler because you can do more than just 60 degrees. You can do hexagons and other things because there's other pieces in the quilt that I put on the end that'll help marry well together without too much of an issue of matching. You can register for the class in person at the store. You can call us at 718-468-5858 or you can register online at sewright.com. I hope to see you in class soon.